Hilton now and another breaking news is coming in. Well, days after Pakistan's barbaric attack, Pakistan has found it normal to propose water sharing with India. Well, that's right. Pakistani government is seeking a joint mechanism with India and Afghanistan for a joint watershed management and transboundary aquifer uh, sharing to minimize the negative impact of development projects of neighbors. In fact, a mechanism should also be worked out for sharing of transboundary aquifers and also joint watershed management, including the sharing of real-time water flow information. Well, interestingly, now this is right days after Pakistan had stooped to barbarism. A bat team had crossed across the LOC, and about 200 meters inside the LOC, it had attacked a patrolling party of the Indian Armed Forces, uh, following which two of our braves, two of our soldiers were martyred. And that's not where Pakistan stopped. They also went ahead and mutilated these bodies. And right after that, Pakistan has the cheek to come up and ask for cooperation on water sharing. Well, we are still awaiting for a response from the Indian officials. However, it is quite unlikely that they are likely to uh, that they are likely to extend their cooperation, considering it hasn't happened in the past. In this water treaty, remember, is something that both the sides have been trying their best. Uh, to get their way with. In fact, let me go across to uh, Saurabh Sanyal, who's joining us with the very latest uh, senior editor. Well, Saurabh, uh, quite interesting there. It seems Pakistan, uh, ironically, after having butchered our braves, mutilated them, now it seeks cooperation from India on water sharing. In fact, the Pakistan government, uh, Meghna, is seeking a joint mechanism with India and Afghanistan for joint watershed management and transboundary aquifer sharing to minimize the what they call the negative impact of development projects of neighbors. So essentially, once again, uh, they are pointing fingers to India. And India, is, uh, you know, the progress that India is making on all fronts, that is something that has got Pakistan quite jittery because they're specifically talking about development projects of neighbors, and uh, they, uh, which means that they're talking of projects which have been undertaken by India. Now, remember, Remember that Pakistan's stand is a part of the national water policy, uh, which also seeks to ensure about 100% metering of urban water users, including drinking water and sanitation, water for sanitation. And the policy was finalized by uh, the Pakistan government and the provinces was on the agenda of the Council of Common Interests. And uh, so clearly now we'll have to wait and watch and see that how India really uh, responds to it. Because... Uh, the, the policy says that the regional mechanisms involving more than two uh, neighbors, this is the Pakistan standpoint, shall be explored for a viable solution right. to Pakistan's growing vulnerability to hydro meteorological disasters. So Pakistan clearly on the back foot and once again they have to turn to India. Mm -hmm. In fact, Saurabh, do stay on with us. Gita Mohan, our foreign affairs editor, is also joining us. Gita, any kind of response from the Indian authorities? Well, I believe we've lost that audio connection. Saurabh, if I can come back to you, uh, any responses so far? Well, it seems that uh, we've lost uh, both the audio connections, but we'll get you more information on that. We are awaiting, of course, the reaction to come in from the Indian authorities. How much are they ready to cooperate at a time when our braves are being butchered along the LOC? Well, that's the big question. Along the border, we've seen how Pakistan has been carrying out barbaric acts, and unfortunately, now they propose water sharing with India.